All right, man. It's your boy D Tate, and I am here. We are the three amigos. We got three Robert. Amigos. Go. And we got my boy. Wonder Twins. We are. Wonder tri- Triple Twin Powers. Let's activate. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I got a bone to pick with y'all. Hot. This last conversation just uh, it never. This video never got posted, and and you know what I'm saying. Right, I feel like we got to reintroduce this conversation just because we could go in deeper. And, you know what I'm saying? I just really want to just have this conversation. You know what I'm saying? So elaborate. What and you we gonna, about? Yeah, we're going to talk about this AI. Okay. We're going to so, talk about AI. Mm-hmm. So AI is an interesting conversation topic. I feel like it can go down many different pathways. Um, good, bad. I mean, you've got so many sci-fi movies out there that aren't realistic, but they give you kind of an interpretation of what you could run with. But... I mean, it's it's an interesting topic, like, period. So what part about it do you want to start off with? I want to talk about, like, why do y'all feel... Okay, so how? So what's the point of AI? It's to assist you with your natural life, like in your everyday life. It's, it's there to turn on the lights when you wake up. It's there to turn on the music. It's there to open the blinds. It's there to drive you to work. AI is there to be beneficial towards you. But I can understand the misconception of it taking over i mean it's it's when we put that information or that that technology into something that can like destroy the planet that you don't do don't do that don't do that but when it's like open my blind so i when i wake up in the morning it's i'm awake i'm awoken to natural light i'm okay with that okay so my thing is like okay all right all of that is good like all right alexa play my favorite song exactly yeah it's on now i like that but i want to talk about like the ai where you got motherfuckers like google creating robots that create uh, that created a language that humans didn't understand and they had to unplug that bitch you're talking about because they didn't under because they didn't understand it that's called so when you got when you got when you got you when you got intelligence that's able to where we don't know what they doing or or you know what i'm saying what if it get to the point where they make because they already doing it. It was where they make robots where they can think for themselves. And what's what's gonna happen one day if they look at us as the inferior beings? It's it's like Robert was saying. It's sentience. It's it's the the the, the understanding or like the the human beings. <laughs> bless you. Sorry, thank you. Human beings don't perceive other creatures in this world as being like smart, like like uh, on our level. Because, because not sentient. The, but, well, not be, well, because they, they can't build shit like us, okay? Like dolphins. That's dolphins are sentient. smart. You're, you're but, aware of your existence. Or Yes. Like, uh, yeah, that's... Was that, is that... Uh, Sentience means specifically to be aware of your own existence. A lot of animals simply go through evolution to where they are passing their DNA along and surviving. They're not, like, really aware of themselves for the most part. They don't know how to build grow and they're just prosper. being they're they're not learning right? okay so all right well let's say if we they're build like, all right let's say if we build a motherfucking robot that's aware of their existence right okay why would we okay. have done that huh? <laughs> why would we have done that yeah, huh? yeah he why, he said why, why would, would we, we have done, done that? that yeah what if they want to do that you know what i'm saying like you, they they cuz they can do that like if they can do that somebody in this world will do some shit like that you got to uh, like bro how do you know that animals aren't aware of their existence? These motherfuckers know that they hear. No, not. I mean, come on, dude. Look at look at a squirrel, okay? And then look at a like what a about gorilla. A, what about a dog? Do you see well, a, a dog? Don't, a, dog a dog. A dog don't know that it's aware of its existence. Do you? See it know a, who you are, so it, it knows that he's here because they learn to survive. But do they know that they're alive? Do you see a squirrel driving a Prius? Because I don't. Yeah, I don't. It, it, a dog. Uh, it, it, that that's dumb. Like that, that. That's not what I just asked you. I asked it's the you. Same no, thing. no, no. It's not because the question was the question was are you are they aware of their existence, bro? Because the thing is, if a de- if a dog sees his owner sitting there dead, it's going to be sad, bro, because it knows that it's no you're no longer there. So if they know that that you're no longer there, then they know that they're here and they know that you're here. That's not necessarily true. That oh, depends on the breed no. of the dog. That's not every dog. You cannot say it's your dog. Because that's that, a dog. No, they will eat you. Like, like because they know that you're not here. Will they eat you when you when you here? No, because Hell you're no, gonna say stop. You're here. Like, stop. Don't eat me. No, not every dog. Hell no. Nah. Hey, Come hey. on, man. The dog ain't just your owner. The dog owner ain't just gonna walk up. I'm gonna try to eat you today, and then and you just got big. No, don't. Have you ever? Owned, they ain't trying. Have to you ever? Have, have you ever owned a dog? What fucking? Huh? Yeah. Let me end this conversation right here. Okay. What animal have you ever seen 
do more than what it's evolved to do, which is just survive. Y'all, no, because no, y'all, no, no, well, y'all, no, 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 no
Yes, like, you did. I, I, I said, heard you. I said, I'm not talking about complex as ours, bro. Like, I'm talking about if they got a mind complex enough, just to elaborate for you motherfuckers, to elaborate, like, you know what I'm saying, complex enough to know that they got to eat this motherfucker here to survive. And if I don't, I'm going to die from starvation. How the fuck could it that's, come up with some shit that's like not that? Sentient. That's sentient. No, it's survival. not. That's you, you just survival. said the definition of sentient is of, of is is personal self awareness. Right, personal self awareness, which means to be. It's mentally. not conscience. It's not. It don't have a self conscience like that. It y'all is. A, be, it is a point of consciousness. Be, I, didn't, I, I I wasn't familiar with that word, but y'all did not give that word the justice. All right, let me bro, let me get my let me get the floor to my boy. All right, explain it, please. First off, I'm not a goddamn thesaurus. Neither is he. We're giving our perspective, right? Yes, but we are. But, but, so we don't know shit. We know some stuff. But no, like a little bit. No, no, no PhD. Bit. Where's your PhD? Like this much. Yeah, exactly. This much. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Let's so, go this much. I don't know. So the point of consciousness has many depths and many levels. Anything that's breathing has consciousness. Because, oh, guess what? I'm breathing air. But, like, to be sentient means you are at a conscious level that you can understand yourself and everything around you and problem solve and go further than that. Okay, most animals don't know how to problem solve. Orangutans, like you've mentioned, can problem solve. They can make tools and they can uh, learn sign language. They can learn how to... Communicate. They can communicate, but they can also like experience some kind of emotion. Oh, that...